Hi, this is Miriam from Schizo Cookies Book Vlog. I'm going to do a review video where I'm going to talk about four comics that I've read. So let's start. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is Rumble. Looks like this. I think the cover is really cool with the title and everything. The back is quite pretty. Yeah, so that's the cover. Then I'm going to talk about the artwork. Okay, so like I said in my book haul uh, video, I really, really like the artwork. Um, I love the colours and all the details in the like the scenery and the background and everything. I think that's so cool. And I really like the character designs and like the expressions and everything. Uh, they're quite... Yeah, I like the details and the style, so really, really liking this artwork. And I think you see more characters like that. And then the like the creatures are so creepy and cool. Really, really pretty. And I like that um, all the characters look a bit different. I mean. Of course, the like main character's love interest is really pretty, but <laughs> besides from that, it's quite original. And I really love this three-legged dog; so cute. And uh, I love this character, like the the evil boss lady, because yeah, that's apparently a woman. And that's not something that you see in comics very often—a woman that doesn't like that's not pretty. <laughs> but like really original, uh, so I like that a lot. And like I said, I really like all these kind of crazy monsters and everything. So the artwork's really superb. Uh, so yeah, now onto the story. Uh, the story wasn't as unique as the arc was, but still interesting enough. I'm gonna read part two to see how everything goes, because uh, I'm interested in, yeah, to see how it Develops. I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit more original. Uh, right now, the story is more like a classic kind of adventure where the main characters like rushed into um, like a magic kind of world that he didn't know and uh, adventures that he didn't plan on <laughs> participating in. Uh, but it's quite interesting. He's kind of a, like an or ordinary kind of average sort of like quite boring guy and then um, things happen and his life changes sort of but he doesn't really want it to he's just more interesting to like hang at the bar and a girl that he met sort of and then he has a best friend that's more like happy that things starting to, that things are starting to happen so yeah that's it's good enough not any special really but and then there's a quite cute little three-legged dog that I'm hoping um, is going to be a character in the second volume as well, because well, we will see. And the um, main um, sort of villain, sort of hero, sort of magic guy is, he's more interesting. I um, can't really figure him out, so that's going to be fun to see what happens with him. And um, yeah, I think that's it that I'm going to say about the story. But it was okay, hoping it will get better, yeah. The next one I'm going to talk about is I Zombie Volume 1. I read it because I've seen the TV show and I was interested to see how much, how similar it was or if it's really different. And uh, it was very different, not at all similar, but let's start with the artwork. Um, this artwork I didn't really like that much, I mean the... The, the ink and the drawings are good, they're, they're pretty, but I don't like the, the colours. I think they're quite boring and bleak and a bit like 80s kind of style and not that modern. Um, I think they're boring and too grey and not in a good way. Um, but I mean, some page, pages are really pretty and I think Ellie is so, so cute. I love her, and um, yeah, but I mean, overall it's, it's, yeah, I don't know, I think it's a bit 
boring. Not really my kind of style, you know. But I do like that it's um, like the scenery here at the diner and I really like Ellie and her clothes. It's a bit 60s or 70s, I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at that, that's, that's, that's really good. But I, I, I think it's mostly kind of the backgrounds and yeah, the colours that doesn't do it for me. But other than that, it's, I can't really complain, but not my favourite. And I mean, if you look like this, no, not, not my kind of side, but it's okay. Um, so let's continue with the story. Um, the story was very different from the TV show. I mean, the main characters was different. I mean, the it's her, but she's not working at a morgue, she's a grave digger. And the, her friends is not the same at all, They're completely different characters. And so she's not, she didn't used to be engaged, and yeah, I mean, nothing is really similar at all. Um, and I, I think that's good and bad. It's good because I won't get as confused and I won't like mix up the series and the TV show and the series because. Um, it's nothing similar really, uh, it's just that she's a zombie and not like that kind of uh, kind of zombie, more like a actually working, uh, smart, intelligent zombie, sorry. So um, the only thing that like, suggests that she's a zombie is that she's like light-skinned and dead and eating brains, but that's it. Um, the story was quite intriguing. Now, that special really it was okay. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading volume two and see how the story goes. Uh, it's interesting enough, not nothing special, like I said. Um, yeah, I don't really have that much to say about the story. Um, I like her best friend Ellie. She's really cute. And um, but more than that, I don't know. It's okay. I'm gonna read it, but I'm not like mm -hmm, you know. So that was it for I Zombie. And next um, we have a favorite of mine, uh, Rat Queens Volume 2. So let's start with the artwork. Um, I wasn't too fond, fond of the artwork at first at Volume 1, but then I started to really love it and really enjoy it. And I think, I know, um, you start to get like familiar with all the characters and like that's really important when it comes to this kind of um, comic that really like has strong character design and character story uh, so I really like the artwork it's in the beginning it's 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 the same as before um, and I think it's I think it's really pretty and I like all the like tentacles and stuff I think that's really cool and uh, uh, yeah, it's it's just pretty, and I think Betty is so cute. I mean, look at her; she's so cute. I love her, and um, yeah, so I like it. But then, at the end, all of a sudden, it was I couldn't really recognize the characters anymore. Oh, and by the way, this this cover is just. Gorgeous. Oh well, yeah, like I said. Um, but then things started to look a bit weird, and I didn't. I thought it was strange that I didn't couldn't really recognize the characters. Uh, well, I could obviously, but I mean, they still didn't look like themselves, you know. And then I realized when I looked at the cover, and I read about it online, that they've changed the artist for. The new volumes or new single issues, and I got really annoyed because I, I really liked the artwork and it didn't feel the same. I mean, the new art is still really good. I mean, his his skill, but they don't look the same, and Betty doesn't look the same. And yeah, I got really annoyed by that. And yeah, I mean, look. This might be spoilers, so don't look if you don't want to see it, but I mean, look at Betty. That's not Betty. She looks like a regular kind of pretty girl with that like long face and everything, but she's supposed to be so tiny and like her head is supposed to be like in this picture a bit 
more wide. So I couldn't really recognize Betty, and since Betty was my favorite character, I got really annoyed. <sighs> but then I read why the artist, he got canned, because apparently he was in some kind of um, crime. I'm not sure what it was, but... Okay, so apparently he was arrested for domestic violence, so it's a good thing that he's not continuing to draw these things, but... Um, I'm still sad because I like his drawings, you know? Um, but then I read that they're gonna change a third time, I think. And I, I think I have seen some of her drawings and they're a bit more similar to the character design that I'm used to. So I'm hoping that she'll stick and that I will actually like her artwork better. We will see. I'm still going to continue reading the series because, I mean, I really loved the first one and the second one was still great. Um, but I am really disappointed in that it's not the same art because that's, that's so important when you're reading when you're reading comics. This one's pretty cool as well. And oh, and also another side note. Uh, there's one scene that, uh, that got me... Ugh, this one. I can't look at it myself because I, 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 I will puke because uh, I have a phobia of like holes in clusters. Um, I've got the word for it, but it is actually a phobia with a word for it. Uh, I don't know, it just ugh, give me the creeps, it's just disgusting. So when I saw that picture, I had to like stop, uh, stop reading for a while because it was so gross. Um, but most people don't, aren't as strange as me, so that will probably be fine, but still pretty gross, I think. So that was it of the artwork. I'm not going to say too much about the story, because I don't want to spoil anything, because this is, since this is volume two, but it was good, not as good as the first one, because the first one I was like laughing out, out like every other page and it was so hysterical. This was still fun, but not as fun. I guess I got my hopes up a bit too high because I loved the first one so much, but it was good. I have more, I, I had more to say about the artwork since the, because of the artist like change and everything like that. But more than that, it, it was a good story. I don't remember, I'm not remembering too much, but it was a bit of a character development that's interesting and you get to know them a bit more and I like that. And um, yeah, what else? Yeah, I, I, I had a bit of a hard time like starting reading it because I had forgot a bit of the details from volume one, so I was a bit confused, but it didn't take that long before I, I, I remembered what, uh, what happened in the first volume. I wish I had the first volume with me so I just could look it up, but it was not. Uh, I read it on a plane, so I didn't. But yeah, good story, interesting enough, uh, but not as good as volume one. That's all I'm gonna say. And now on to the last review, and that's going to be about Vicket and the Divine, volume two. Okay, so the first thing that I noted was that she's cut her hair and she doesn't have her like um, green kind of, um, what's it called? Dip dye colours anymore and I, I I don't like her new hairstyle and um, but other than that, I mean it's it's really the same as the, the first volume. Like the details here, you can see that the the iPhone screen is broken and uh, I think that's really funny because a lot of people that I know that has like an old iPhone, the screens are like always broken. Uh, so I think that was a neat little design. And also I, I really like the, like the covers for all the um, different issues, like the single issues. They're really, really pretty, all the close-ups and the faces and everything, and the characters, that's that's really pretty. But other than that, I think it's a clean kind of design. It's, I like this, even though it's kind of hard to read, it looks cool. And all the colours are really cool, and like effects like this is cool. 
Um, but other than that, I think the this I mean the the draw drawing style is a bit. It's it's hard to explain, but it's not that original, you know. All the faces are really symmetrical and they look kind of perfect, pretty, you know. Um, that's what I like about Rumble that the characters were a bit like the like the, the style was a bit messy, sort of. Um, but I'm not gonna complain because I mean, still, it's really good and I really like. Uh, that the main character has like uh, freckles and that kind of details and stuff and um, yeah and all the the hairdos are cool and this like the clothes are cool and I like that um, they like ex experiment with the outfits and everything and I really like this character he he really looks like Felix from uh, Orphan Black if you watch that TV show so I thought that was funny. Uh, <laughs> and um, then I'm not sure if I can find that page. Okay, here it is. Um, this shirt that says you only live forever <laughs> instead of YOLO. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. And there's a lot of that kind of small detail kind of stuff that uh, makes the art and the story a bit better, I think. So I like it. Yeah, I'm happy about it. Uh, the story in the second volume, uh, I think it was, a lot of people say it was a lot better than the first one, but I actually did like the first one quite a lot, so I thought it was sort of the same. It's it's intriguing, it's, it's really exciting to see what's going to happen, but it's a bit too much of, like, too much questions that's not answered at all, uh, so I'm hoping that third volume will have a bit more answers because now it's I think it's too many loose ends uh, for my taste but uh, yeah the interest I mean that all the gods are interesting and it's quite hard to like remember them all because I, I sort of get them mixed up but I, I still like it it's not my favorite comic but I really but I still really like it and I'm looking forward to reading volume three and the, the ending in this one was really, really exciting, like the, like the first one, I guess. Um, so I like that, that they have these kind of huge cliffhangers. It's a bit annoying since um, it's going to take a while before the next one is out, but still, I like it, so I'm happy about it. Um, yeah, so I, I don't have that much to say about the story, really. I'm more a uh, person that like reviews the artwork more than the story, but if the story isn't good then I'm not going to continue reading it anyway, so yeah, it's um, it's good. I'm looking forward to reading volume 3. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So that, there's no spoilers. And uh, yeah, that was it. I hope you liked this video and let me know if it's anything that you want me to speak more like like talk more about it if it's something that you would like me to talk less about or if it's some kind of series that you think I should read and review just let me know thank you